Hey everyone, D-Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Elden Ring. So, a couple things. I picked up one more of these, the last one that was for sale, so I have that now. The locked door, did I use that? Pretty sure I used that, yeah. Um, we have the golden seed, I cannot use it. I tried to, because I forgot I got it yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, and tried to use it, and could not, so... Yeah, there's that. We got plus five ones. I killed the the knight. What's it called? The Crucible Knight. That was it was pretty brutal. Basically, in his second phase, um, you just have to not attack him. He has two Yeah, I think just two attacks that you can punish. And it was a nightmare, but I eventually figured out how to deal with him and put him down. So he's dead. Only worth like sixteen hundred runes and no special items, but he's dead, and my theory was right, he does not respawn. But then I farmed enough to get that last stone sword key. So I'm here now. This episode's probably going to be mostly about Godric, assuming that is him beyond the fog wall, which I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but first, there was an area I forgot to explore over here I want to take care of real quick. Oh. I also checked uh, on that big lion thingy, the one that we killed at the gates. I don't know if I said it yet, but uh, that thing doesn't respawn either. Okay, down here. I meant to go over here and forgot to. I believe there's a couple storm hawks. Oh, that's not a storm hawk. That is though. Got it. Oh, I forgot about that. In fact, they can use Igni. Because this is the Witcher now. Oh, right, that thing. They can do that. Oh, that missed. I was hoping that kick would be actually useful against shields. But it doesn't really seem to do a whole lot. Lump of flesh. Light pinion. That was it. I think that was it. It's down there. It's that place with the other hawks and the archer, I think. Yeah. I hate those things. The black ones are the worst. They're so wildly strong. Way stronger than you would expect them to be. Nah, he's not that strong. Alright, so I think that's everything. I also, okay, so this episode, like I said, is going to be about Godric, and depending on how long that takes, we might have time to try to get across this bridge and see what, what's over here. I'm not sure how that works exactly, so we'll see in a moment. Need to see if that's a thing, too. But um, we have an Evergale here, another Evergale here, and I know that's Everjail, basically, but I'm just going to call it what it says. Then there's this place, and then the dragon. Those are the real things that I have yet to do that are, like, optional stuff. Uh, and so I might try to do that next episode. I don't I don't know. Like, heal's a problem. The Evergales I might be able to deal with, and I don't know what's in there. I'm gonna need to find that out. And this, I feel like there's supposed to be something here. Um, if you notice, these, I think, signify maps. And so going to those, like, I could go up here, get a map for this portion of the map. I said map a bunch of times there. So that's probably something, but I'm not sure. I could check, though. Um, but that is... Probably going to be later. Let's see what we're up against. Alright, we can summon her. She's got axes by the look of it. The 
Feli Lu. I think that's how that's pronounced, at least. All right. Mighty dragon. Thou'rt a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Yeah, six fingers. Well. And more hands. That's a lot of hands. Playing as a lord. I command thee. Kneel. I am the lord of all that is golden. We'll see about that. Let's go, man. All right, I don't know what I'm getting into here. I don't know what he's capable of. Oh, he's durable. Look at that health. His attacks are wildly off time. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be a nightmare. So humongous. He has a lot of legs, too. He doesn't just have many arms. Ow, what the? Lay him low. Something's happening. Whoa, what? Oh, he hit himself with... What are you doing? Oh, please tell me that hand's not going to get up and fight on its own or something. Oh, no. Why are we just sitting here letting him do this? Is my question. Oh, what the? Oh no. Oh, that's horrifying. Okay, this is bad. Got him. All right. Uh oh. Ooh, that's terrifying. I don't know exactly what it was he just did. I know even less about how I survived it. Let me go! Not like that. Please tell me that's attacking her. It was. Now she's dead. It's just me and him. Ooh, that was just off timed enough. Music's epic. don't like that he has another head there. Kind of reminds me of Dude in Skundir. Wow! 
Whoa! What the? Okay. That's unpleasant. Okay, and that, you cannot take cover behind those. I need to get in closer. He's just gonna keep breathing fire at me, I know it. Oh, bro, the grab! I knew what it was just before. Oh, now he's Godric the Grafted. I didn't notice his name change. Bring him down. Come on. Ah. Uh. Almost. Alright, I might be able to take him in the next run. Maybe. I might have gotten really good RNG here. You could summon... Wait, I could... I could summon spirits there. That changes the fight entirely. Once she dies, I can summon things to at least keep him busy for a little bit. Because I don't think I lost any... Any healing. In the first phase. A creature of his size has a much more appropriate speed and hitboxes than Margit did. Alright, please tell me I don't have to go through the whole intro scene. Alright. Probably gonna have the same mid-boss scene. Lightning? I think she is. Yeah, she is. It's not working anymore. I don't think we're even dealing damage to him. Oops. Okay, she healed, at least. I wasn't sure if she did or not, but she did. He went right for me. Getting close. Take him out. Boom. Oh, that was the most epic vital. That was awesome. Fought pretty well, woman. I'll give you credit. All right. Remembrance of the Grafted. Well done.
That was awesome. Alright, the great runes are received by defeating shard bearers have lost their beneficial power. However, their power can be restored to divine towers throughout the lands between. Which divine tower you should visit? What is a divine tower? Is that this thing? Maybe. Alright, looks like there is more of the castle, but the majority of it's probably been explored. So he was the grafted thing Roderick was talking about. That's a good thing I could summon spirits. I'm pretty sure they actually did make the difference. They weren't doing a ton of damage, but they kept his attention divided enough so that he didn't kill me or the woman. I threw some kukris because I didn't have much else I could do. Oh, he has a, a point of grace as well. What's that? What is this? A part of him? That's a statue, I think. Um, and how much... He gave me, like, 15,000 souls. Souls. Runes. I'm just making sure there's no secret stuff around here. I don't think there is, but you never know. FromSoft is tricky. And they have been known to leave items in some boss rooms. Right, let me see real quick. This thing has something to do with great runes. It grants the blessing of an equipped great rune upon, great rune upon use. Okay, what's this do? Remembrance of Godric, the grafted hewn into the Arid Tree. Power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. I don't know what the Finger Reader is. Field Man saw power. Okay, so that's like a boss soul. That's what that is. Um, here's the great rune. Seek the Divine Tower of Limgrave, which stands beyond the Great Bridge of Stormvale Castle. You mean this one. Okay. Man, look at the, the, like, corruption or whatever that is that's climbed up all the towers. Can I enter here, then? Is this the big throne room? That's why there were a bunch of signs that said, well done. You were supposed to go in the front, not the back. I still wonder what the point is. Offer arms. What? How did someone even get up on that lamp? Oh, much of them just disappeared. <laughs> Did the collapse? Oh, so they're saying, like, there's secrets here, but you can't get them because this is a no attack zone. What's the point of this? What's this do? Is this the wrong one? I don't know if there is actually any gesture stuff. I doubt it. Yeah, no. There's just a throne room here for some reason. I don't know why you can't attack in here. Like, the relevance of that. The moment you get out here, you can. It's probably just an extra path, though, to lead you outside. But I, I find it weird that you can even get here before encountering Godric. Is there anything different with this thing? Nah, it's a ghost. It's got a big hammer. Where are people getting all these different weapons? Do they come in here later in the game? I don't know. Okay, so then that's, that's like next area stuff. Looks like the map is up there, which is pretty far away. I'm gonna warp over here, though. Actually, before I do that, there was a dude in the round table hold that I talked to with the guy at the table who said the big doors to it would open. He'd welcome me, like, once I got a great rune, which I now have. As well, I want to go see if I can upgrade some weapons and whatnot. So is this door open? It is. There's another one of you. Are you here to Noel? Oh, the finger reader. I interpret the words of the fingers. Look there. Oh. The fillets there. Great Elden Ring. Anchor of all lands. Giver of great. Until it was shattered. The tragic corruption of across the realm. La foul curse. But the greater will. So it is that the tar grave tarnished. You'll seek to become Elden. Let the words of the... 
Yeah, that's disturbing. Okay, so about ah, the children of the goddess. Queen Marik for the Elden Ring. The strength of their runes, and so grace was it. This. The greater will has no oh, she speaks through them. The Demi tarnished. Or they speak Show through her. No mercy in thee. The Demi gods are Igodric the Graf, the runt of the litter. Oh, so he was like the weakest. Okay, so let's see what this is. With the power of remembrance menu, you can draw the power of remembrance namesake. Grab to Godric's left arm. We'll take the form of a small dragon sprouting sharp dragon fangs at the fist. This weapon cannot be two handed. Grant the small dragon a fleeting glimpse of life and thrust its guard speed in flames over a wide frontward area. That takes faith to use effectively. And then his axe. Command the Neil, friend the Lord of all that is golden. Oh, and you can do the big earthquake thingy too. Well, I might as well take that. Why is it always fingers? You know, that's a good point. Why is there a throne behind them? Can you attack them? Oh, you can't attack anything, right. Alright, well, let's go see that dude, then. Actually, I could just talk around to all of them. Nah, he doesn't have anything else to <clears throat> to say to me. This guy, I don't think, has anything new. Yeah, no, he still wants that servant girl who I've not encountered. Will you say anything to me now? He will not. You've received the wisdom then, just as promised. I, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. The Witch King. As the tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elf, I am accumulating. You now belong to a select group of fellows. You'll be after more than as your fellow. The inheritors of the Great. We of the Round Table know the Lord. Godric the Grafted. General Radan. Who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wild. Praetor Rykar. Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir, Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lane, and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. You'll still be after more. Okay, so, so Godric. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, his castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough. Or... Yeah, I do. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Star. He fought Melania and her rot, and now Caelid has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds. And if it's true, though, I doubt he much was... Praetor Rikard is the Lord of... He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau. The realm of the Erd, it was the stage of the most up. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as... Morgoth, the grace given his Lord of... It lies at the foot of the Erd tree. In the... But the two fingers forbid us until we've acquired enough great set your sights elsewhere for the time being. Oh, you can't even go after that one. The Academy one. of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, but Renala herself, her beloved Radagon, left her to become Queen Marika's second husband. The great room dwells within the amber. Huh. Okay. Oh, and you're here now. Again. I thought you'd receive a summons. The fellow Lou. I'm glad to see you here. I found it in Godric's grave. You defeated him. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of... Arsenal charm. Maximum equipment load. Ooh, by a lot. I don't need that right now, but that's pretty cool. Also, I took the torch out earlier. I don't need torch poles. Just a torch. Yeah, enhance his jump attack. Does that just enhance the damage in general? I think so. It's hard to tell. And I don't think you guys have anything else for me, really. Increases memory slots. That's for spells and whatnot, and then... Yeah, so I don't need any of those. I might pick them up at some point, just because I like to have things like that, but... 
It's unlikely. I do want to run over and see the other guy. Oh, right! So the woman who held me. Um, I used the item that she gave me, because that weird, like, debuff that was a red square up there at the top. Turns out, that was lower maximum health, which is the trade-off to having that buff thing now, that she gave you, which increases voice. Alright. Let's see if we can get some plus seven. I don't know if I'm wasting them on that. I'm hoping there's plenty throughout the game. I don't have anything that he even wants. Wow, he could do the same amount for all of these. I don't know how that's even possible. So light from this location is placed eliminated surroundings. The effect of short-lived lacks diverse colors of rainbow stones. I do wish I could make something holy so I could actually fight those skeletons. I want to explore that place, but I think I'll lose if I try. Whoa. Those are pointing to the water now. That's weird. Anyway, we're going to head to the big tower. I'm probably going to have to kill a boss or something to even try to cross the bridge. That was a pretty big arena-looking place. Um, I just want to get that up to 20. I don't really need it to be. I like to have a decent enough dex, and then I'll focus on strength, health, and endurance. Frankly, I think strength should be the equipment load thing, but that's just me. Alright, is this a boss arena? Or something gonna... Whoa. It's dim over here. The tree is. I'm assuming that is itself the air tree. But, like, there's all those other trees, too, and I'm not certain what significance those hold. Oh. I'll be right with you. Man, just look. You can barely see much because of the, the storm, but it's pretty cool. Please tell me you're the only one. Oh, you are not the only one. That thing has a bow! Are these even things that one could fight? Uh-oh. I can't even use the whistle here. Conjure up torrent. Oh, you're trying to lead the target. The goal is get in and kill him, and then I might try to kill the others, but there's no way I'm going to take them on with that thing firing at me. At least they don't move very fast. Yet. Also, what kind of defenses do you have when I'm on top of you? Hopefully none. Oh, they're not terribly durable. Good to know. I wonder if my fire pot would be effective against them. Ooh! Oh, I can get them to hurt each other. Oh, that's so much damage. Kill him now. Or they do something terrible to me. Oh! Oh! Come on! Just let me end this guy. They are not making this easy on me. Okay, got it. Thanks, man. You're real MVP. Oh, get them in the foot. That specific glowing spot brings them down. I feel like I'm fighting actual titans from, like, D&D. &D. Oh, 
those were really big. I think this bridge is pretty long, so it's likely there's more of those. What is this? Oh, yeah. Are they just gonna start porting me across the bridge? Oh, that's what that is. That's just one of those guys. I thought that was a boss of some kind. Oh, it sends you all the way. Wow. Their tree is much closer, but it's still over there. Actually, I don't know if that is much closer. Yeah, so this map clearly gets bigger. Like, even from here. I wasn't certain if it actually grew the last time, but it... It grows. Yeah, first off, the boss. How could anyone open that thing? I just want to look up. Oh, this place is neat. Actually, can I look up if I use the binocular? Telescope? The binocular. Yeah, I know. I would love to look up. Oh. Here we go. This is some epic design. I hope nothing spoils the tranquility. a whole thing up here. Like, I gotta fight through a bunch of guys now that I'm up here. Oh, are those more divine towers? And an arena? It's an arena. I think. Big tree. That's probably way farther away than it looks. <laughs> People just come up here to commit suicide. Oh, no. Okay, that's part of the two fingers, but is this like a boss? the shard bear godric its blessing raises all attributes the great ring is known as the anchor ring found in the center of the elden ring elden lord godfrey and his offspring the golden lineage what's this again oh right that's for that flask of wondrous physique speaking of okay flask of wondrous physique still remains in the third church of america north of the mistwood Okay, so I haven't been to any of that place. Yeah, the highway bridge. For some reason, I thought that was this back when I first read that. It is not. That's probably another divine tower. Man, the area looks so cool from out here. Is that the church? Maybe. You never know. That's all from that, though. I want to check something here. You guys didn't see me discover this because I lost the footage. This is right next to the pot dude who I rescued, who was buried, and I had to womp him out. And then I saw that. Which I'm pretty sure is one of the pumpkin head guys, so I think this is a boss. I want to level up. Get my decks up to the, the length I want... length. The point I wanted it to be. If this is a boss, I can just knock him out. I don't plan on going here next yet. So I hear a scarab, I feel like, but I don't know where it is. Alright, you're a boss, right? Or mini-boss, maybe? Ow, that didn't even hurt me, it just stunned me. Oh, he's not even a... No. 
No, you're nothing. Which is weird, because one of them was a boss in the dungeon. Yet those trees, those are the trees I was talking about. I feel like those signify something. I thought it was like the places you had to go to fight the lords, but... I didn't see any of them back at the castle, so... I don't think that's what it is. I might be missing something, though. Oh, we're back in Limgrave proper. Good guy or bad guy? Oh, dear. Am I... I... Terribly sorry. Are you here as a customer? Yeah. Flame chariots. Matic warriors. I'll take the cracked pot. Bolts, arrows. Got a bandit mask. Cool, cool. Yeah, I don't think I really have anything you want. Oh, hey, that was plenty. Okay, um... We wear the fire monks' chariots bearing the faces of giants. The will blow to the chimney top on top of your effective opportunities. The plunging attack will be rare indeed. Is that what those massive giant things that I killed up on the bridge were? Were those just actually, like, carriers? Is that an instrument? I can't even tell. Okay, well, I don't plan on going over there yet for, like, exploration and whatnot. I, okay, there is stuff down there. I wasn't sure if there was stuff across that bridge or not. I want to kill this guy. Over there. This is the closest place, weird as it may sound. That's going to be what I focus on next, is uh, killing... Killing the two Evergale bosses. I don't know who's in the other, other one. I only know this one. But I'll kill, I want to kill both of them. I want to kill Akeel, and I want to search out that weird place that we found at the start that I didn't explore because I was afraid of it. I think that's one of the slumbering egg guys. But I believe there's a Statue of America over here. I can also answer a question of what happens if I use the Evergale and there's guys around. And I don't know if I'll beat this thing first try. It's in boss form now, so I'm pretty sure it's tougher than normal. Where is it? I completely overshot. Um, so it might be tougher now, but I'm pretty sure it's got the same attacks. I'll do my best. I'm wondering if I missed other bosses, or if I'm going to, because like Deathbird, the only reason I encountered Deathbird is because I happened to be going by that one specific area at night. If I hadn't been, I would never have encountered that thing. Alright, there's the statue, I just want to make sure that the game knows I found it. I'll we'll see what happens if I use this without killing any of those, if there's any difference goal will be to kill this dude, though. Don't know if I'll actually get anything out of this. Okay, you are alone. Good. Don't know if you actually get anything from killing him, but I'll try. Alright, boy. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Ah, every time I try to dodge it, and I dodge at the wrong time. This is one of his most punishable attacks, though, if you don't get hit. durable, but it's 
literally all I gotta do is wait like another half a second. And then everything will be hunky-dory. Can you stop running at me? Thank you. I just needed to do that. Ooh. I'm gonna run out of healing. And he's just gonna massacre me if I even reach his second phase, which I probably won't at this rate. You can literally bait out punishable attacks if you time that right. And just properly dodge the shield bash, because it takes him a while, I believe, to respond afterwards. His first phase isn't even that hard. I'm just being an idiot here. I'll try one more time on this episode, and if I fail again, I'll just go in the next one. I hear a scarab still. Is there one of them near here? Hard to tell. Probably. There he is. Oh, well. Seriously? You can't just throw that straight up? No, nothing special from him. Garbage. I'll make one more attempt. I already planned on doing this next episode, but beating Godric took less time than I thought it would. They did say he was the weakest of the the lords, so... I guess that's expected. Oh, I should have talked to, uh, to the girl, too, about the, the grafted thing, see if she had anything to say now that he was dead. Hello? Oh, you have to get close enough. What? That was... I tried to dodge a little later. I forgot, actually. I think he can change the duration on that, that charge. He'll make it go longer or shorter, depending on if he needs to. Making it extremely tricky. Oh, shoot! Mm. The real annoyance is this fight is going to take way longer than it should, because I'm prepping for his second phase by... by just dodging the things I can't retaliate after in the second phase. Seriously. He can cover way too much ground with that attack. And so the first phase just takes seven years. Still no sacred tears to, uh, to upgrade the blast with either, which is an issue. Ow. Oh yeah, I'm all out of healing. Here we go. I somehow end up preferring this phase over his normal one. Ooh. He can do that after almost any attack, but he has a couple where it acts faster than others, so you have to be very careful about when you try to punish him for it.
And if you space it right, you can uh, you can slam attack and still have time to get out of there. But it's, it is pretty difficult at times. Punishing him after that one is tricky because he can also tail swipe really quick. So you don't want to do that every time. That one too. He can also do another very fast tail swipe. And there's nothing you can do when he does the wings. That's purely a dodge situation. Ooh. Okay, now he's going to try to do his rep repetition move. He can just keep chaining his combo together. And he will if you stay near him. That slam down has a very quick tail swing right after it. That one too. I know you can parry those, but I'm terrible at parrying in general. So I opt not to do those. I think he also has a period of time in which it's actually safe to attack him because he's not going to do that. But that can be pretty difficult to judge. Okay, that was a bad call, actually. You want to stay away from him after he does that. Oh, no, I'm getting sloppy. I wasn't even thinking. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's literally, it's so, it takes forever to beat this dude. That is terrifying. He just cut down the entire forest around us. No! Okay, I got him close, though. I'm definitely going to kill him, but I'm going to do it next episode. Yeah, Snake America. Um, and after we kill him, I'll go check out the other Evergale, see what we're dealing with there, if it's a thing that's even plausible to beat right now. Then I'll go investigate... Huh. Then I'll go investigate this place. And uh, then if we still have time and I feel confident, I'll go deal with Agheel. Deal with. And that'll knock out all of the things that I haven't dealt with in the explored area yet. And then we can move on from there. But that's the plan for the next one. So uh, that's all for this one. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.